wasn't even gonna record this video I was just gonna play around but then I'm like okay this look is it's gonna be cute so I made sure I recorded it for you guys so I hope that you guys liked it and let's just get into that video. starting off I'm just taking my P Louise base and I'm putting that on my eyes just so that I can prime so my shadows can come up more pigmented I then take some of my Airspun baking powder and I just put that underneath my eyes just so it could catch any fallout. The first shadow I'm laying down is just a bright pink shadow. Um, I did use my 35B palette from Morphe and they don't have names so I'm just going to be explaining what type of shadows they are. The next shadow I'm taking is like a deep periwinkle shade um, and then I kind of mix it with a couple different blues. like. As you guys will see in the next couple clips, like I was struggling finding colors to actually go with each other. And to also ensure that I'm getting as much pigment as I can, I did go in each and every time to go ahead and deepen out my pink color, my blue color, and then the next color I'm going to be putting on. Okay, so this is where the tutorial kind of goes left, but I'm able to finesse near the end. So I did start off by putting that purple color, but I honestly didn't like that. So over the purple color, I did put like... A navy blue and I kind of didn't like that either so yeah y'all gonna see soon what I ended up doing So now I'm going in with like a green color. <laughs> like I'm telling you guys, I was really struggling, but I did not want this look to be a waste of my time. Like, so I had to really finesse and I did kind of like the green, but I was mixing it a little bit with a little bit of, you know, a little bit of navy. So yeah, and like I said, right here, I'm just going in and making sure all of the colors are super pigmented. I'm really loving that pink actually. Now going in with a navy, with the navy blue color. Obviously, you guys seen how like the navy blue doesn't look the same as when I put in the inner corner. I mean, the outer corner, it's only because I did put purple with it because I didn't want it to look stupid. But I am going ahead and putting in some navy blue in my crease. And I'm also going to put a little bit of black in my crease as well. Now that I'm really looking over the footage, I wish I would have blended way more. Definitely blend more, you guys. Like, I was just kind of over the look, and I was I knew I was gonna do a cut crease, which is what I'm doing right here using my P. Louise base. But yeah, please make sure you guys are blending well. Like, I do want to try this look again with different colors, but yeah, I'm gonna blend way better next time.
so now I'm just blending out my inner, my outer V with that navy shade. And then I'm going to be going in with Incredible Glow. So it's supposed to be like a, a cream highlighter. But I ended up just using it as like a base to lay down my glitter. Um, all the like stuff that I use will be linked down below. I don't have it near me. Um, but yeah, so like I just put glitter on. I use a periwinkle glitter and then I also use like a clear white glitter. So taking a black lipstick, I decided to go ahead and line my top lash line just to ensure that everything looks good and snatched. And I didn't want to overdo it with the wing liner, so I felt like that would have been best. Um, now I'm just going ahead and doing my inner tear dock. I did use a shade from the Subculture palette by ABH. Um, and now I'm going ahead and I mix almost all of the colors in to get my under waterline shadow <laughs> and now i'm taking a jeffree star lipstick and i'm just i use that to line my waterline for mascara i just use my anastasia beverly hills mascara for my lips i did use um lipstick as well i used a black lipstick and then i did try to go in with a blue lipstick but then i'm like mm, don't really like that so i ended up just going ahead and filling my lips with more of the black than the blue For blush, I did use my e.l.f. quad blush palette. My highlighter, I used my Nicole Guerrero highlighter palette in the shade Forever Lit. And this is the finished product. I hope that you guys liked it. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.